victim tells me, Taryn, that he feels very violated after all this. He says he was simply sleeping, he and his family in their house, just feet away in their own driveway. That's where those two very expensive vehicles were parked, and in a matter of seconds, they were gone. He's so frustrated, he's offering up a $20,000 reward for their return. Downright diabolical. How can you sleep through both of your monsters getting stolen right under your nose? You was having a nightmare while you was sweeping like a little baby and you woke up to a nightmare. Let's listen. A Harvest Orange Hellcat Ooh, TRX that thing's truck. Nice. And a Hellcat Dodge Durango. And a Hellcat. Two of four cars that were parked in this Man. Lake Orion driveway. We're in the horsepower. So, I mean, and that's why we had them. I feel Early you. Friday morning. Tom Bailey's home security camera is triggered. I don't know how they got into the vehicles, but no glass broken or anything. And how you not hear um, it? When the camera activates is when they start backing up. Yeah. Unfortunately for Bailey, he doesn't realize what happened Look at him. until a couple of Looking like later. a doofus. Come to take the garbage out, and then that's when I realized they were gone. He then immediately mm -hmm. called the Oakland County Sheriff's Office to report them missing. But so far, nothing. Wow. Out there. I mean, I put... $10,000 on each vehicle. That ain't so enough. That ain't enough. <laughs> they had the chop shop right now. One truck that wasn't stolen, prototype tracking devices. What? You had the... Ram truck what? Had wireless trackers and hardwired trackers on it, testing them. He says he was about a week away from installing Come on, those my man. in the vehicles, which were eventually stolen. Straight doofus. Stolen. Bailey says the whole situation has been frustrating and demoralizing. Either you have to live in a gate, behind a gate, to where you can protect wow. everything, or you just don't drive anything nice or don't have anything nice. I mean, that's, yeah. it, it's sad. I feel you. Again, a very unique, specialized vehicle. That's why he's offering a $10,000 per vehicle reward. That's not if you enough. If you have any information on where they might be, you can send an email to info Never see at sickthemagazine.com. We will have a link They're getting to that chopped down at fox 2 Detroit. As we speak. Com. Reporting live in Oakland County, Dave Spencer, Fox 2 News. So wow. Does he think that these vehicles are being sold somewhere or possibly chopped up and sold for parts where we know that happens time to time as well? I mean, mm, it's mm, mm. be gone. Parted out. Both. Yeah, that's the fear, right? I mean, these are very special cars to him. They, they weren't new. Uh, they, these are cars that he's had, him and his family have had for, for some time. Mm. They live out in a rural part of, of Lake Orion. So there's a lot that just doesn't make sense, a lot that doesn't add up. So he's hoping that somebody will recognize wow. them and reach out to him and hopefully bring him back his vehicles. Yeah, I cool. doubt it's it. All right, thanks, Dave. I that. doubt it, man. That's crazy. You mean to tell me that these were so good that you was sleep at the house when they fired up both of your monsters? Man, I got a TRX. It's pretty loud when you fire it up with the stock exhaust. And I know the Durango got to be somewhat loud with the stock exhaust. And you didn't hear nothing? Nothing? It looked like you had a ring camera. You mean to tell me the ring lady didn't say nothing? You ain't get no notifications on your telephone? Your cellular device? I can't believe this, man. Now, I'm tempted to say it was an inside job. I'm tempted, I'm tempted to say you ain't want to pay for those Hellcats no more. Now, 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 I'm just saying this is allegedly, but it, it, it looked like you didn't want to pay for them no more. I mean, how could you sleep through that? And then you got the tracking devices. You said you bought the tracking devices. I'm going to play it again. I'm going to play it again. So I'm going to play it again. I can get these things back. Adding insult to injury inside the one truck that wasn't stolen, prototype tracking devices. The Ram truck had wireless trackers and hardwired trackers on it, testing them. He says he was about a week away from installing those devices in the vehicles which were eventually stolen. Bailey says the whole situation has been frustrating and demoralizing. You said you bought the tracking devices, right? Why didn't you put them on? Why didn't you put them on? The lady said that you, they weren't new vehicles, so you had them for a while. Man, I'm not, I'm not going to fully 100% say that you wanted to get rid of those because you didn't want to make that payment no more because I know that payment was healthy. I know that TRX costs about $125. Maybe you might have got a deal for it. Maybe you caught it on sale. Maybe you got it used. Maybe you got it for 100 racks, 90 to 100 racks. I know the uh, Durango range about 70 to 90, maybe 100. 115, 100, 104, brand new. So, I don't know, man, but obviously,
the thieves have been watching you for a minute. You mean to tell me you live in a rural area and you ain't noticed no strange vehicles? No strange people that you haven't saw before? You said you live in a rural area, so you should have noticed some different people. They was watching you for a minute. They learned everything they needed to know about you. They learned your schedule, your sleep schedule, what time you at home, when you gonna park the vehicles, how you gonna park the vehicles. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure they got your key signal because what they do is they use a machine to get the signal for the keys. So I'm pretty sure they got those signals from you. Not even at night, they probably got them a night before because what they had to do, I'm just saying, they had to have tested, did a test run walked up to your house and see if anybody would hear them moving around, if you had any dogs, if you have any like alarms going off, motion sensors. They had to have tested that out a couple of times before they said, you know what, it's go time. It's go time. We're going to get these cats. Because you know what they say, they'll do anything for a Hellcat. These ruffians will do anything for a Hellcat. And you had two beautiful monsters, beautiful monsters. Sitting in the driveway saying, come on and steal me. Come on and steal me. They had three. It had to have been three of them that did the job. They had to have a getaway driver and two drivers for the vehicles. I'm pretty sure if they had one more driver, they would have took that 2,500 uh, diesel. No, nah, you know what? I doubt they would have took the diesel because the diesel is going to be loud firing up that diesel. So they probably didn't take your diesel truck only because they knew it was going to be a little bit louder than your Hellcat and your... um both your Hellcats, because I'm pretty sure they knew you had stock exhaust on them. You probably had stock exhaust, so they was loud, but not that loud, because if you had a loud exhaust, you were supposed to roll out that bed and come out and da -da 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 do what you had to do. Protect your property. I'm not saying unalive them, but I'm saying a leg shot ain't gonna hurt, no, never hurt nobody. A butt shot, I make a back right. But I just don't see how you was in La La Land just sleep while they was out there stealing your beautiful machines and that that trx was pretty too oh you had a nice color on it man i know you sick right now but then again <laughs> like i said you might not have wanted to make them payments no more but i'm looking at you look like you got a little bit of money you know you said you're gonna give ten thousand dollars a piece ten thousand dollars ain't nowhere near enough money for them to bring those vehicles back those vehicles the minute they left your driveway you never was going to see them again. The last time you was going to see those vehicles is on that video. They took those straight to the chop shop or they might have went down. They might have drove to Atlanta, Texas. They drove. They may have drove far away, got them in a chop shop, chopping them down, parting them out. Them TRX wheels look good. I need some of those. <laughs> Somebody want that motor. Somebody want them seats. Somebody want that bed. Somebody want that suspension. Somebody want them steering wheels. Somebody want them uh, infotainment screens. Come on, man. You want me to keep going? Somebody want them keys, them ties. Man, it's a lot of money in those, parting those out. And I hate to, I don't, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but like I said, $10,000 a piece altogether, $20,000, that ain't going to cut it. You're not getting them back. Go ahead, chalk it off. Insurance gonna pay you your money. Go get you two more. And this time, listen to me, doofus and goofus. Listen to me. This time, get you an alarm. Get your tracking device. And most of all, I'm gonna say this. Why in the Sam hell do you got a garage and you not using it when you got those expensive vehicles like that? You could have put the motorhome thing on, in the driveway them two monsters they supposed to have been in the garage under lock and key I don't know what you was thinking you was too comfortable you was too comfortable you know too comfortable and you paid the price now I'm not happy that your stuff got stolen I'm actually I'm pretty I'm pretty disgusted I mean you worked hard for your your equipment and your nice little vehicles and then somebody comes steal your stuff like that I think that's diabolical I think that's downright wrong you know you worked hard for those, and they really want them, they can work hard for them too. But guess what? They did work hard. They worked hard to steal them. Now they're going to work hard to sell them, however they're going to sell them, so they can get that money and take care of their families. I hate to be that type of guy, but these work hard too. They work hard at their craft. They, they, they work hard at their craft. As you can see, we was working with some pros. Them boys knew what they was doing, and they knew your every, every little step you take. 
They was watching you. They was watching you, baby. They had their eyes on you. They was like, there you go. Look, he going to bed in 15 minutes. Matter of fact, we're going to give him 30 minutes, and we're going to roll on up out there and take those vehicles because he's going to be sleeping like a baby because we done did a couple test runs, and he ain't woke up not one time. We got him. But yeah, as you can see, they still stealing these Mopars. They still stealing these Mopars. Let me say it one more time because it's got to be a doofus magoofus in the back. They still stealing these Mopars. Stop leaving them in the driveway. The fad is not over. They steal the hottest things on the market. I know you're like, they, they steal the Chevys now. They, steal. they still stealing Mopars too. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. They still stealing still Kias. Still stealing Camaros. Chevys. And they damn sure still stealing Mopars. You know how I know? Because they just stole yours. Come on now. Stop being comfortable, baby. So all y'all know, like you got a, any kind of Hellcat, Scat Pack, any kind of Hemi, got a garage, put it in the garage. If you don't got a garage, get your alarm, a nice alarm, nice tracking device. Get you something that's going to give you a safe of mind. And if you, buy, if you buy a Hellcat and you live in an apartment complex, I want you to come in real quick. Come here. Come a little closer. Come, come a little closer. Let me hit you on top of the head. You know you need to get a house before you buy a Hellcat living in an apartment. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? You live in an apartment and you got a Hellcat? Quit acting like a fool. A doofus magoofus. Get rid of it. Get you a Camry. Until you get a house. Come on now. And for my man that lost the Hellcat, the Rango, and the TRX, you might want to look into getting you. Don't get no Kia. You might want to get looking to get you a Hyundai, some kind of Hyundai, Hyundai truck and a Hyundai SUV because you was tripping. And I'm going to slide on up out of here, but make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. If you've been watching my videos for more than two or three videos, why don't you hit that subscribe button and go ahead and support your boy. Matter of fact, share this vehicle. I said this vehicle. Share this video with somebody that you know that is a doofus, magoofus that likes to leave his Hellcat parked any old place because he think it can't be stolen. This one's for him or her. <laughs> and I'm going to slide on out of here. Y'all stay blessed up. Y'all stay safe. And make sure you do what? Like, comment, and subscribe. Be the fam, that's what they call me. I promise that you never be lonely. Be the fam.